machine learning is all about teaching computers about the world from data. One of the things we have a lot of at PNL is great data across all of our disciplines, from chemistry, biology, and physics to national security. And so we find applications for machine learning across the whole range of mission areas for the laboratory and use machine learning to transform the rate of scientific discovery for our sponsors across the U.S. government. What we want to be able to do is provide a level of trustworthiness in those activities. We want to be able to make full use of scientific data and machine learning while still being able to leverage the insight, the knowledge, and all of the research that's gone on in scientific computing, scientific data analysis, and make that work with scientific machine learning. I won't be able to do my research without my team. Working in a national lab allows me to really collaborate with people from different disciplines. I truly believe that to solve AI problems that are important for national security, we have to have a diverse team of experts. And that's what I got here at PNL. So I think the pairing is really important. If you're a computer scientist and you're working in a computational field, you're really focused on algorithm development and making a better model. But with the domain scientists, they have these issues and problems. This day and age, there's a lot of data. And so having the two combined, you actually can combine forces to solve these really complex domain problems using these really great artificial intelligence techniques. So we are applying deep learning and emergency grid control, computational chemistry, identifying new materials, radiation detection, high energy physics, uh, and many, many other domains. My research here is to safeguard a grid and also make the grid more sa safe and easy to operate while we can also integrate more renewable energy but keep the lights on. I'm trying to understand the inherent risk associated with the use of artificial intelligence in the national security context. So what sorts of new risks are introduced by using techniques like deep learning? So a big picture with these in silico techniques, including dark chem, are to remove our reliance on authentic reference material for compound identification in complex mixtures. Uh, it will allow us to expand our representation of known chemical space to include orders of magnitude more molecules uh, such that when we are given signatures from a complex mixture run off an instrument, we'll be able to confidently make identifications and inform what is in that mixture. We are at the forefront of research in all of these many engineering and scientific areas. At the National Lab, we are not constrained by specific application areas that are representative for different industry. We can think big and we can think on behalf of the nation. Artificial intelligence and deep learning in particular is really one of the ideal tools for marrying all of the big data that we've collected with the big compute that we have and using them to solve problems that really couldn't be solved before. We have a mission to advance the state of the art in science, technology, engineering. And so with that, um, that mission imperative, we're enabled to really think not just of what does the solution look like today or six months from now or even a year from now, but it's important that we look out three to five years or even beyond. That push to think big picture has enabled us to really expand our horizons in terms of the types of solutions that we can come up with and bring really creative, really innovative solutions to our sponsors' problems.